You need to learn Python right now. Hold up, why? Why do you need to learn Python right now? The biggest reason right here. If you want to get a job in IT or information technology, or you want to advance in your current job, man, you've got to know Python or at least learn it soon. Network engineer, Python. Cloud engineer, Python. Ethical hacker, you guessed it, Python. And honestly, that's my list. That's my one reason. Do you need another reason beyond the fact that Python's just cool and amazing and magic? No, probably not. So welcome to episode one of my Python course. everything you need to know to become dangerous in Python. And we're starting from zero. Like, I don't know what the junk Python is, zero. No prereqs. And by the end of this course, my goal is for you to have the skills just to be awesome in Python in whatever job you have. So yeah, Whew. get your coffee ready. We're gonna learn some Python. And also a massive shout out to the sponsor of this entire series and the reason it can be free here on YouTube, IT Pro TV. If you wanna learn anything in IT, they are my number one choice. They're what I use to learn stuff. Cloud, hacking, Linux, and yeah, you guessed it, Python. Like check out this awesome Python hacking course they have. So check them out, use my link below or code network Chuck and get 30% off forever. All right, now let's start learning Python. So first, what do you need? What do you need to start learning Python? Nothing. You won't need anything to start learning Python with me in this course. Yeah, you can install and run Python on any computer, Linux, Mac, PC, but we're not gonna mess with that because that takes time and we're gonna learn Python right now. I want you to start coding immediately right here in your browser and that's all it takes. A computer with the browser or heck, even a phone with the browser. Oh, hold on, I take that back. You won't need nothing. You'll need, um, you'll need coffee, that's required. It just is. But anyways, check that link in the description. You'll get access to my free Python lab through my free membership. So click that link below, get signed up, and let's start coding right now. Now you'll know you're in the right place when you see something like this. This will be our Python environment, our lab. Now real quick, I want you to click inside here. Just any line in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, doesn't matter, and just start typing. Oh, wait, what's going on? Here you are invited to create a free Replit account. Replit is the tool we're gonna be using to do all of this Python stuff. And if you wanna be able to edit your code and save it, come back to it, all kinds of fun stuff, you're gonna want that free account. Again, it's free, don't worry about it. So just do it real quick. Once you're signed up, you'll come back and things will be great. And once you have an account and you start typing in your editor, it'll give you the option to fork it, <laughs> which sounds funny, I know. Which basically means creating your own version of what I've typed in here. Go ahead and click that, it's fine. Forking. <laughs> and now right here in your browser or your phone or whatever you're using, you have a Python lab. So let's not waste any more time. Right here on line three, let's just start coding. Just copy what I do real quick. We're gonna write some code. Type in the word print. Print, and then type in left parenthesis, quotation mark. Notice it's filling in stuff for us as we're doing this. It's like magic, I'm telling you. And then type in hello world, exclamation point. Actually, let's do a couple of those four, five, six, or 10, because we're super excited to learn Python and we're drinking lots of coffee, I hope. That's your code. We're done. Go and click on the play button up here, or the run button, and let's watch what happens. Run. Boom. Okay. Hello, world. Down here in our Python terminal, we just ran Python code. That's it. We're done. You're a coder now. <laughs> no, no. Let's talk about what we did here. So when we said print hello, world in Python, we gave our computer a set of instructions. We said, hey computer, I want you to do something for me. I want you to actually say out loud or <laughs> in the terminal, hello world. And of course he said, okay, I'm doing it. And boom, hello world. We basically made him talk, but we had to tell him in a language he understands, which is why we use Python. Python is a computer programming language. And while this is a simple example, at the end of the day, that's pretty much all we're doing when we're using Python. We're telling our computer what to do in a language he understands. Now, as we go further in this course and we go deeper into Python, we can tell our computer to do more advanced things like, hey, go hack this other computer or go hack this network. Or we might tell the computer, hey, can you make this configuration change to all the devices in my network? And it will automate that. Really, you can do anything with Python and that's what makes it amazing. And that's why learning Python is like learning how to do magic. So let's keep learning some magic. Let's take another look at our code here. So at this point, we know that when we said print hello world, we told our computer to say hello world. But what's actually going on right here? Let's break that down. So first, what is print? What is that thing doing? In Python, this is called a function, which we'll cover more on later. I'll even show you how to create your own functions. Just know for now, it's code that does stuff. And in our case, the stuff that it did was make the computer talk. And in Python, you know it's a function when you see these parentheses right here, open and close. Without the hello world, it'll look just like this. Now, this next thing is a huge concept. The stuff in between in our function here, that sucker is what's called a string. You are going to use this so much in Python, so just get this in there. Here we go, coffee break. Ooh, yeah, here we go. 
A string is a sequence of characters, or the way I like to think of it, it's just text. So looking at hello world here, we have our characters. H is a character, E, I mean, all of them are, W, even the space right here in between is itself a character. And when we combine those characters together in Python, it's called a string. Now, how do you know if something is a string in Python? Any guesses? You will always see a string with quotes around it, just like this, bam double quotes. It can also be single quotes. So if I took a one line from each side, take it away, boom, boom, just single quotes. That's also a string. You can use either or, but my personal preference and what I recommend is to always use double quotes. It's just better, but whatever you pick, just pick it and be consistent. And also to help you remember this, I got a challenge for you for the next 24 hours. Every time you say string, I want you to quote it. So string, string, just do it. <laughs> or don't, I don't care. But it's a good way to remember, I think. Now let's get back to our lab for a second. Let's try printing more strings. So follow along with me, let's print our next ones. So we'll type in print using our print function. And this time, you know, let's go crazy. Let's do a single quote, just single. And we'll say, I am Iron Man, just like that. And let's go ahead and run that code by clicking our start button up here, our run button, run. And boom, we just code it again. <laughs> Hello world, I am Iron Man. Let's keep practicing, let's do another one. Print, no, comma, I am, Tony Stark. Let's do another one. Print. Now I have a point to this. Just follow along. No, comma, I am Poppy. Poppy. Now let's print that out. Cool. So we have a lot of print functions, printing some fun stuff. Oh, real quick, just underneath that last print function, let's do this. Do a hashtag. Hashtag. And type in, we are practicing Python. It's awesome. Now what just happened here? <laughs> let's try it out. Let's run the code. Uh, nothing, no nothing happened or nothing happened differently, right? New concept time. Notice we also have the same thing up here. The hashtag, hey, there's nothing here, wake up. And then we have this. When you see a hashtag or a pound sign, we're telling our computer, don't read this. The same for you, buddy. This is for humans only. We're telling our computer to ignore that line in our code. This is called a comment and it's for us. It's for people. It's for you as you're coding, you can make notes on what you're doing. That's for the next coder that comes behind you and tries to make sense of the crap you coded. He can go, oh, that's what he's doing because you made a comment. So whenever you add a pound sign in front of something that immediately will comment it out or just telling the computer, don't look at this, it's not for you, buddy. It's really handy when, for example, I have the print hello world up here. This is code the computer will read and run, but maybe just for this next time I run my code, I don't want that to be included. So I can just put a pound sign or hashtag right in front of it and bam, notice it changed color, it's being ignored. Now, you've probably noticed this far that things change color when we do cool things in here. This is a Python IDE or an integrated development environment. So it's definitely more than a text editor and it does cool things like that to help us code Python. In a lot of ways, it's like a spell checker. You know, when you're typing in Microsoft Word or whatever you're using, if you misspell something, it'll tell you, underline it with red, kind of the same thing here with coding. So actually let's try something real quick. So we know that here when we printed the string no, I am Poppy. We know it's a string because there are quotation marks. But what if we remove those? What would happen? Let's try it. Let's remove them. So remove the last one and the first one. Notice, first of all, it changed color. And then when we try to run it, <laughs> watch what happens. Oh, it's your first big bad red error, syntax error, which you're going to, by the way, get used to because you're going to see this a lot. And it's fine if you see it. Every programmer sees this. Every person who ever starts writing Python or any kind of code will experience this constantly. And you're one Google away from understanding what this means. Now here it's like saying, hey, you probably meant to do a string and you didn't and it's invalid syntax. Add those quotations back in there, sucker, so we can run this code. Problem solved. So now you know what strings are, but what do you say we have some more fun with them? Let's cover some string basics. Yeah, let's do this. Strings <laughs> basics. So I've got a task force to help us learn these strings basics. Right now we have three print functions in our program. I don't like that. What I want us to do is get down to only one print function. I want us to print this entire thing with one print function. And not just that, I want it to look just like this, exactly like this, each on its own line. And there are multiple ways to do this. So we're gonna learn a few things about strings as we try it. Now, first of all, if you already have an idea of how to accomplish this, pause that sucker, pause this video and see what you got. Now, if your first thought was like, Chuck, this is pretty dang easy. Instead of doing three separate strings, let's just write one big string that has all this text inside. It's a good thought, let's try it. Now first I'm gonna comment out all this code so I can keep it here for reference. That way it's not gonna be run. Then I'll come down here and start typing away. So we'll do our one and only print function and then our double quotes and I'll type in my text. So now we're using one print function with one string. Let's see what happens. Let's run our code. 
run. Okay, cool. We did it, but we didn't do it right because I wanted each of these sentences to be on their own line, right? Well, you might think, well, if this is just text. I know how to add a line in text. You just hit enter after the sentence, right? So there and there. That should do the trick, right? I'm Iron Man. No, I'm Tony Stark. No, I'm Poppy. Let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> good old error. Now, you probably noticed immediately that uh, some things changed as we changed that. Python no longer recognized this entire thing as string. It assumed that since we hit enter to add a line break, we were done with the print function and we just did it wrong. But there is one really easy way to fix this. You see, this right here is just a regular string, but there are things called multi line strings. <laughs> I'll show you. We're gonna add some extra quotes. So I'm gonna go up to the top here, right? At the beginning of that string. And I'm gonna add two more quotes. So now I have three double quotes. I'm gonna do the same thing at the end. Notice our color did change, so we're back in action there. And let's run our code and see what happens. Oh yeah, look at that mission accomplished. This, my friends, is a multi-line string. That's exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> Three quotation marks will take care of that for you. And we can do whatever we want inside that string. We can add a bunch of space. Pretty cool. So that's one way to accomplish this in one print function. But that's too easy. No, no, I'm gonna make it harder for you. For the next challenge, I don't want you to make one big long string. No, no, no. I want you to keep these individual strings in one print function. Again, if you already know how to do this, try it out, pause the video. If you don't, let's do it right now. So this will start to open your eyes to the magic of strings in Python. So I'm gonna type in print, type in my first string, I am Iron Man. How do I add another string to this print function? One way is to add them together. I'm gonna do a space, a plus sign, because that's what you do when you add things, you use a plus sign. Python is no different. And I'll put in my next string. No, I am Tony Stark. Now let's go ahead and do the next one. Space plus, and then no, I am Poppy. Now this is a bit magical. Here we have our three strings and we're adding them together with the plus sign, which puts a whole new spin on word problems. This is commonly referred to as concatenating. Did I spell that right? Yeah, I think so. Concatenate, or essentially combining things together. So do you think this will solve our problem? Let's try it out. You probably already guessed no, but let's go ahead and run it. It's gonna have a problem you're probably not anticipating though. So this is gonna be fun, ready? Let's run it. Okay, it definitely combined them, but do you see something off about this? Bro, you didn't give us spaces between our sentences. That's basic grammar, Python. Come on, what is this? Just combining them like you don't know how to speak? And the computer doesn't, right? The computer doesn't speak English. He doesn't understand this crap. He only understands Python. And we literally told him to do that. That's our fault. <laughs> what, what do I mean? Look at this. We said, take this string and combine it with this one. As a human, we're thinking, yeah, those are two sentences and you put a space between sentences. The computer's like, um, I don't see the space character there because space is a character. He doesn't see one here and he doesn't see one here. So he just assumes if you want me to add those together then I'm gonna add those characters together. There is no space character, there is no spoon. Anyways, so how do you think we fix that? Go ahead and pause the video and try it real quick. It's, it's very simple so don't like make it too complex. Just try to fix it. One of the easiest ways to fix this is by simply adding a space. So like, for example, here, I am Iron Man. We could add a space and I, I forgot my period earlier, so I have a period. Just add a space at the end of that string. And when I run that code, voila, we've got our space character there. Let's do the same thing over here. After our second string and our second sentence, period space, I'll run that code. Beautiful, it looks better, doesn't it? Yet we did not complete our mission. Remember, I wanted each of these sentences or each of these strings on their own line as we did before. So how do we fix this? Again, if you already know, pause the video and try it. Let's keep going. An easy way to fix this is this handy hack right here. Right in the string, I'm gonna do a backslash and the letter N, and that's it. So notice, it is inside my string. It's part of the string, it's a character. Let's run it and see what happens. Boom and bam. Okay, so it created a new line for us. That backslash and N is called a new line indicator character. And it does what we just saw it did. <laughs> uh, so to fix the rest of our stuff to make it look great, let's go ahead and add one more new line character to our second string. Backslash n, and we'll run that code. Now we did it, and that's awesome. But notice um, it's a little wonky. Got a little extra space right here we may not want. How do we fix that? Well, again, the computer is going to take exactly what you tell it to do in Python. So notice up here in our second string, we've got the new line indicator, and then right after that, we've got the space character. And that's where that guy ended up, right there. So to fix that, we just simply eliminate that space and run our code. Beautiful. 
Now, can I show you something that will not make a lot of sense right now, but is super cool and I just have to show you? Okay, let's try it out. So, um, let's give it a little extra space here. Type this with me. Print parentheses for our print function. We're gonna print a string, and then right after that string, hit a space, an asterisk, space, and type in 100. Now, what do you think is going to happen right here? I'll give you a hint. The asterisk right here, Python reads that as multiply. You ready? Let's run our code. And run. Boom. <laughs> How cool is that, right? Talking about word problems. We can do stuff like that? Yes, Python is powerful, man. Now to make things cleaner and cooler, what do you say we add our new line indicator character? Where will we put that to make it all on its own line? Try it out real quick. I'm gonna do it here, backslash n right after poppy. Let's run our code now. Oh, gorgeous. I am poppy, I am poppy, I am poppy, I am poppy, I am poppy. I am poppy. Woo, we covered a lot today. First, we established that, yeah, you gotta learn Python right now because if you wanna be in IT, that's kind of the standard now. Sure, it doesn't necessarily have to be the Python programming language, it can be something else. But the de facto standard right now, the most popular one out there is Python for IT professionals. I've been saying it for a long time, check my previous videos, you gotta learn Python. And the best time is always right now. We also covered, hey, what the junk is Python? It's the way we talk to our computer, to tell him what to do, to let him know we're the boss. And then we saw how we could tell him to do a few things, like, hey, talk computer, print this out. We learned the print function. We learned what a string was. Also multi-line strings. And then we learned some strings basics. And while we covered a lot today, we are just scratching the surface. Python gets so much more fun. And in the coming episodes, just a bunch of mind blowing moments. Anyways, that's all I have for episode one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there anything you want me to do differently, better, or less of? I don't know. Let me know. And also don't forget to hack the YouTube algorithm today. Like this video, comment, notification bell, subscribe. We've got to hack YouTube today. Ethically, of course. And of course, a massive shout out to the sponsor of this entire series, IT Pro TV. Again, if you want to learn anything in IT, if you want to become an IT professional, they are the best place to go to learn this stuff. So link below or code network Chuck, you get 30% off forever. Anyways, yeah, I think that's all I have. Uh, keep a lookout for future episodes. They will be coming out here soon. Yep, I'll catch you guys next time.